Okay, with your watercolor skill builder page, you're gonna need a set of watercolors. You're gonna need a little cup with just a small amount of salt in it. Um, a crayon, I use white, you can use whatever color crayon you like. And one or two paint brushes and a water basin. So the first one is crayon resist, the first box. So what you do is take a crayon and pressing hard with your crayon, you're gonna draw something inside this box. I like to use white because you don't see it when you're putting it on. And so then it's a nice surprise when you paint over the top, but you have to press hard with the crayon. Then I like, I tend to use a darker color to go over the tops to make that white really stand out. So I get a puddle of water on top of the paint that I'm gonna use. So I got my paintbrush wet, pulled my bristles across the edge of the oval. Then I gently tap or touch the water and swirl it around and then that paint underneath it changes the water to the color and then just paint this right onto the box. So there you see the white shows up because I pressed hard. Now, it says please do not paint directly on this page. This, These will be created on separate papers, then glued into journals. So I'm going to have four separate papers for you that you'll need to write your name on the back, and then you'll do these techniques on each of those papers. Also, the paper will be a little thicker than this colored paper, or this copy paper, so these techniques work a little bit better. So then this next one is salt. Now the salt sometimes doesn't work if you're not quick about it. So the first thing I like to do is I like to use a dark color again of watercolor. So I'm putting a puddle of water on the purple, the blue violet, wiggling my paintbrush and the water around, getting that color. I'm gonna paint this really quickly into this box before it starts to dry. So I wanna be fast, not sloppy, fast. Then I take salt, pinch it, and sprinkle it on top. One pinch is all that I needed. So I have all this salt left over, so I'm going to put that back. And you can see where the salt is. It's sucking that watercolor paint to the salt, and it's creating a texture of dark spots of watercolor. And then the, cut, the dark purple paint flows away from the plain areas to the salted areas and it creates this like salty pebbly effect and it, it's a nice texture and then when this dries you'll just brush the salt off onto the trash can but these, these spots will still stay there of the dark color so down here it is watercolor showing light to dark value so what I want you to do is get your paper wet with plain water okay you're gonna use one color only so I'm gonna go ahead and use this green color. Get it wet, wiggle it around, and you're gonna start by just adding a little bit of paint to one side of the square, and then you'll add some more paint to the other side, and you wanna make it darker. So less water, more paint. So I'm just gonna keep painting and adding more of this green paint to this side of the box so that I have a light and dark values. That's what it says here. So I have a light value with the green over here and then more green. I'm not changing my color of green. I'm using that same green and then more on the other side. And you can see doing it on this copy paper, it's wrinkling and so it's making puddles of this dark value. That paper that I'm gonna have cut for you, that's gonna be flatter and it's gonna be less likely to make these puddles. And then wet onto wet analogous colors. Analogous colors are three colors next to each other on the color wheel. So you have three greens, so you might use all three greens. Um, you have some purples, um, purple here, and I'm missing a purple here. Reds, you've got red, orange, or this is red, orange, red, orange, orange, and yellow, orange, and orange. So you could do three oranges. We've got red, violet, red, and red, orange. You could use three reds. So you're gonna choose three colors. You're gonna get the box wet with plain water. And then you're going to paint, I'm gonna paint three reds right next to each other and let them run and bleed together. So this is red orange. So now I'm gonna get the red, paint red next to it. And let it run together. And then the red violet, I'll paint last. So there's the red violet. Now my red orange, 
was my first color and I'm gonna add a little bit more to it so that you can see it. So now they're blending together and bleeding together to create three analogous colors, red orange, red, and red violet um, on wet paper with wet paint. So that's called wet onto wet. So then you would take these four separate squares that have your name on them, you're gonna put them on a manila paper placemat and then you're gonna put the placemat with those four squares onto the drying rack and the next class I'll pass them back to you and you'll glue them into these four spaces.